Hello, this is part two of my um, SE Bikes 2016 commuter bike conversion to a fixie. You might remember last time I had a bit of a look through the bike to decide what I needed to replace and of course straightforward fixie conversion probably all you want to change is the back wheel and uh, well here we go back wheel it's a track bike wheel fixed gear um, of course if you're going to change the back wheel well oh, it's nice to have the front wheel matching so you know yeah I've got a front wheel as well and use all the excuses you like um, it's actually cheaper to buy them as a pair they cost more individually than they do if you buy them as a pair um, and of course you know it might affect the performance but really it's just because uh, I like them to match that's it however uh, that immediately uh, threw up another issue so on the on this wheel from here to here here to here is the chain line and on this wheel it's uh, 40.5 millimeters problem is on this bike the chain line from here to here is 45 millimeters why is that important well on a fixie you want you want the chain to stay parallel with the frame uh, to start with if, if it's off by any in this case it would be off by four and a half millimeters you're stressing the chain to one side and it's going to wear out faster also uh, ideally it runs completely parallel to the frame because you get maximum power in that direction so in order to fix the chain line um, we're going to have to change the crank set on the front well that's quite straightforward I thought I have a crank arm that uh, this this arrived with my as a spare with my track bike it's quite a bit more compact than the one on here um, and uh, it's actually designed for a 42 millimeter chain line and I thought that that would be it uh, of course no that didn't work there were a few bits that I thought I might actually have remaining from the original bike after this build which was the frame the brake calipers and, and the bottom bracket the axle that runs uh, through there and the crank sits on um, unfortunately no that's not the case because that crank set does not fit that bottom bracket so here we go Shimano bottom bracket it's quite a bit narrower it's nine millimeters narrower than the one that's on now Hopefully, having fitted that, uh, that should almost sort out the chain line. This will need a little bit of adjustment, the wheel, uh, but you can adjust it by putting a, a little shim around here so it makes the sprocket sit a bit further out and we can get the, the chain line nice and straight. If you're going to do all this, changing a, a new sprocket, a new, a new uh, chain ring on the front, of course, uh, well, you might as well get a new chain while you're at it, haven't you? So there's a new chain as well. And finally, uh, when that's done, we want to keep all this as narrow as possible. And uh, the, these pedals are quite large. So uh, I was very fortunate. A friend of mine gave me a spare set of pedals, uh, Shimano SPDs, quite a bit smaller. Well, wh why is that important? What we're trying to avoid is the pedal striking the floor while we're pedaling on a fixie, because uh, that's not a good thing. I'm probably going to do that job first because there's a little snag it might yet go wrong and the problem is that when all that new chain crank set is fitted uh, the gap between here and here is getting ever smaller it might get so small that they run into one another and obviously that won't be good but that remains to be seen we'll see how that goes so what else we're going to do as I said before, I'm planning to change the bars. I'm not very keen on the riser handlebars. I prefer a set of drops. And here they are, second hand pair of drops again, uh, given to me by a friend. Slight snag with those. Here is considerably fatter than uh, the bars that are on. So the uh, stem needs to be changed as well. So we have a new stem again given to me. New stem, new handlebars. Great. 
Should it really that sit? Well, no, because of course, as I said before, the brake levers probably won't fit onto there. Well, they, they probably will fit, but um, ideally, I, I like to ride on the hoods. So here we have a new set of brake levers as well, so that I can ride on the hoods. Um, they're, they're kind of retro, these. They're rally brand, and to be honest, they feel a bit flimsy, but we'll see how we get on with them in good time. One other slight snag with them is the brake cables that fit these are different to the ones that are on the bike. So we also have a set of brake cables. That's about it. Um, in the next video, I'm going to change over this bottom bracket and the crank set and the chain wheel. Uh, I want to do that first because, as I said, I'm not entirely sure that that's going to work. And uh, if that doesn't work, then we're going to need a plan B. So, uh, I'm looking forward to finding out. I hope you are too. I'll see you with the next video. Thanks.